Anatika, it's really great uh, to have a chance to speak to you today on uh, on this topic. Um, you know, the, the crisis we're going through is really driving an acceleration of the transformation that was already underway. Uh, what was going to play out over years, I think, is beginning to play out over months now. And uh, we're seeing companies move past the respond and recover phases of this crisis and really beginning to reimagine uh, their organizations. We're seeing this faster evolution of organizations to have the ability to go virtual whenever and wherever they want to. Um, and that this capability is providing them with better economics and really just becoming more competitive with better services and solutions. And um, in this remote everything world, what we're really seeing is that it's manifesting itself everywhere. And I think what it means for us in Microsoft is that we have to work even cl more closely with partners like you uh, to build on our platforms, to to create this value added solution for companies across all the sectors around the world. And I think that's the most important part uh, that we've given almost the, the raw product, uh, but the innovation of XFH and things like that can really bring it all to life uh, and create real solutions for very specific needs of customers. And so I think that's the question, you know, how does XFH come to life um, or how do you see that playing out for you? So when we looked at XFH, for us, it is sort of very strongly built upon the tech bundles uh, uh, of Microsoft as a, as a backbone of the technology platform that enables it. Uh, but what we also feel is the there is a lot of change that needs to happen in the ways of working for various roles of uh, personas within an enterprise. And if I look at our own experience of LTI, uh, are typically our scrum masters and agile coaches, the ceremonies, agile ceremonies that they will practice within their projects now needed to be adopted to a team's based environment. Uh, similarly, if you look at project managers or, or PMOs who are tracking and doing governance of various projects, they needed to look at a different way of how those uh, dashboards and governance on the basis of Power BI's and all other technologies come together. And so what we have actually done is we've taken the tech bundles, then we have created the curated layers of ways of working for all of those personas. And that's where the LTI uh, adoption of how do we really make each of those roles effectively leveraging those tech bundles comes into play. So the idea for us on the XFH is take these tech bundles, layer the LTI ways of working uh, accelerators, if you will, on top of that. Layer the LTI IP for different uh, themes. So engineering is one theme, transition is another theme, uh, a factory worker could be a, a third theme. To bring those uh, assets that we have built in a pre-built uh, layer of uh, enablement and take that to our clients so that they can uh, accelerate their journey across these XFH layers. So that's how we see that coming to life as an adoption for many of our clients. No, I think uh, you're right. I mean, the transformation to this world where we can work anywhere from any time just opens up entirely new models um, of, of delivering services to customers and, and clients. And that's changing the world. And it's happening faster uh, than expected because of what we've just gone through. Um, and that the important part is having solutions uh, that can leverage these platforms and execute business objectives. And that those solutions have to factor in the people that are going to be using it, which are the, the personas and the job types in specific sectors. And so um, I think uh, this is a, an exciting change that's coming our way now. Uh, I it love the capabilities you're going to be bringing out uh, to the market to enable this. And, uh, you know, we're really, really happy to work with LTI. Uh, to bring uh, this future to life uh, and make it happen through the technologies you've built uh, and that we have together. So thanks a lot for that. Yeah, and absolutely, it's been great working together on this and I believe it's a journey has just begun.